The International Space Station or ISS was created after the Cold War by the United States and Russia as a symbol of collaboration between the two nations. It is a research facility where the crew works on researching medicine, technology, and space exploration. To this day, American and Russian astronauts have worked together in the ISS in perfect harmony regardless of their political opinions. Using the Soyuz rocket transport, American astronauts Kira and Christian travel to the ISS. As they dock with the station, Christian explains that the Russians knock three times to tell the others it is okay. Once they get inside they meet the rest of the crew, commanding officer Gordon, Veronica, and brothers Nikolai and Alexei. Gordon is American while the other three are Russian. Veronica has been in the station for 50 days and Kira notices that she's very close with Gordon. She is a very positive woman and insists the most important rule is to stick together. After a warm welcome, Gordon gives Kira a tour of the place, including her sleeping quarters. He explains that at first learning to sleep will be a struggle, some astronauts sleep strapped in a bag while others have learned to just float in their quarters. Gordon advises her to use a sleeping bag until she is comfortable. He also points out that the hum they constantly hear is the life support system, if it ever stops making noise it means they are in trouble. Next Gordon introduces her to her workstation and the lock boxes to secure their research, giving her a key for the American locks. She is allowed to use Russian cabinets too, but then she must trade keys. Kira immediately gets to work and brings out a few mice into a cage to observe them for her experiments. Alexei notices this and comments that they'll be working in close proximity for a while because their workstations are next to each other. Kira has read his research and asks him about his experiments, but Alexei explains he has lost all his mice. After she moves to the next room, Alexei takes a closer look at her setup. Later, while some of the crew exercises, Kira watches Christian experiment with a drill that can spray fire, which is impressive but also scary. During dinner, Christian shares some gifts from Earth and Nikolai brings out a bottle of alcohol. Kira accidentally tries to open it normally, causing bubbles of alcohol to float in the area and make everyone laugh. Afterward the crew goes to the viewing deck, where Kira gets to see an amazing view of Earth. The group discusses the overview effect, which is this spiritual awakening some astronauts go through when they see Earth without borders and humanity as one. That night, Kira sees one of the guys sleeping by floating and can't help getting pretty anxious. Thankfully Veronica comforts her and helps her strap herself to the bag for her first night, mentioning the hardest part of sleeping in space is having nobody to hold. The next morning the crew begins working early. Christian tries using the computer, but the signal is down so they can't get messages out. Kira checks on her mice and discovers they have attacked each other, but she can't tell why. Feeling down, she goes to the viewing deck to look at Earth, only to see a huge eruption. At first she wonders if it's a volcano erupting and tells the others, but soon several explosions start happening in many spots in quick succession. Panicking, the crew immediately leaves the deck and closes it before trying to get in contact with Earth to no avail. Suddenly Gordon gets a message from Mission Control telling him to remain silent because it is classified information. It turns out the United States and Russia are at war and the involvement of other countries is being investigated. The US government wants its citizens to abort all experiments and take control of the station by any means necessary. In his own station, Nikolai also gets a message and Gordon wonders if he's gotten a similar order. Nervous, he replies to the message with the word a Y but at that moment the power goes out, only to come back in a second. Gordon pretends he couldn't contact Earth but as soon as he gets some privacy with Kira and Christian he tells them the truth. Christian immediately assumes the Russians got the same orders and blames them for the power outage, but Gordon tells him not to jump to conclusions and to wait for now. Then Veronica announces they have a big problem, the station has lost its internal propulsion and is falling out of orbit, which means they only have a day before the entire station will burn up in the atmosphere. There's a mention of using the Soyuz rocket to escape, but it doesn't have enough room for everyone and only triggers an argument. Kira sends out a message requesting propulsion and hopes Mission Control will get it in time, so for now they can only wait. All of a sudden, Alexei informs the crew that an antenna outside the station is damaged and needs to be repaired manually. Christian snorts because he thinks it's a lie, but Gordon volunteers to go anyway. While he suits up, Veronica kisses him for good luck. Christian carefully whispers his concerns about this being a trap, but Gordon swears he trusts everyone in this crew. When Gordon goes outside, he is horrified to see the United States is now the color of bright red, meaning his homeland is destroyed and on fire. Using the comms, he asks Kira to keep everyone away from the windows. Meanwhile Christian and 
Alexei try to chat, but the mood is tense and paranoid. Alexei then says he is going to the bathroom, but as soon as Christian is gone, he comes out and opens a panel. He gets ready to cut some wires, but he hesitates. Back to Gordon, he carefully moves around the station while Kira chats with him to keep him calm. After several minutes of very slow space walking, Gordon is almost at the antenna, but at that moment Alexei cuts the wire and Gordon loses communication with the station. When Kira warns the others, Christian immediately notices that Alexei isn't around and rushes to check on the panels, but Alexei has covered his sabotage with fake wires and Christian finds nothing. Then Gordon notices his tether isn't long enough to reach the antenna, so he has no choice but to disconnect it. Making a very risky but calculated leap, Gordon finally reaches the antenna, only to discover it's just fine and Christian had been right. At that moment Nikolai activates the grabber arm and swats Gordon off the station, sending him floating through space. Kira and Veronica begin to panic when they can't communicate with Gordon or see him on the cameras. Christian checks the windows and sees Gordon float away, so they run to pull the tether in only to find it empty. Upset, Kira hides in her room while trying to deal with her grief. When Christian comes to check on her, Kira says she wants to go out and find Gordon because the suit should keep him alive for a few hours, but Christian assures her it's pointless. He also scolds her for thinking it was an accident when it is quite obvious that the Russians acted first. Meanwhile Veronica confronts Alexei and Nikolai and learns the truth, they received orders from Russia to get rid of the Americans and take over the ISS. However Alexei swears he only wanted to cut off the comms and didn't know Nikolai's intentions. To defend himself, Nikolai says the Americans would do the same to them, but a horrified Veronica calls him a monster. Like Kira, she wants to go out and find Gordon, but the brothers refuse to help. Heartbroken, Veronica goes into another room to have a breakdown. Afterward Veronica asks Kira to talk in private because Kira is the only one she can trust since she is new. Veronica asks Kira to exchange keys, and when Kira says she has lost hers, Veronica can tell she's lying. Then both women admit they've received orders from the government and Veronica admits the brothers killed Gordon, which makes Kira agree to help. Veronica has a plan, she'll create a distraction while Kira uses the Russian key to raid Alexei's box, which contains samples that could be used to treat radiation poisoning. Earth is going through a nuclear war and their countries want their research to use it as the ultimate bargaining chip, but Veronica thinks cures should be for everyone. She also points out that the most important samples are stored in Node Zero. After they trade keys, Veronica steals the fire drill gun and turns on pure oxygen in one of the chambers, threatening to blow everything up. While Nikolai and Alexei try to calm her down, Kira goes to the research lab and starts searching for Node Zero, but she can't find it. She asks Christian about it and Christian tells her there is no such thing. Believing Veronica lied, a furious Kira goes to find her and Christian follows her. The duo makes it to the other room just in time to see Veronica hit Alexei with a wrench. Christian uses this distraction to smash a tank in the back of Veronica's head, instantly killing her. Alexei and Nikolai are devastated as Christian tries to tell them he had no choice because she was going to blow the station up. While Alexei and Nikolai mourn Veronica, Christian convinces Kira to hide until communications work again. Eventually Nikolai snaps and announces he is ending all this, calling it his duty. On Earth, flames and destruction continue to spread. Alexei decides to drink to forget and when he glances at the screens, he discovers Gordon is floating nearby and still alive, so he immediately uses the grabber arm to carefully bring him back inside. Meanwhile Kira and Christian are hiding in the luggage. When Nikolai starts searching that area, Christian throws his fidget toy to send him in the opposite direction. Kira uses the chance to come out and bumps into Alexei, who helps her hide in a different spot and lies to his brother. At that moment the toy floats by again and Nikolai finally finds Christian, so he drags him out to beat him up, only for Alexei to get hit instead when he tries to stop him. Then Kira tackles Nikolai to free Christian, so Nikolai grabs her instead and starts choking her. Suddenly Gordon shows up and knocks Nikolai down with the drill. Next he asks about Veronica and loses his mind when he learns she is dead. Furious, he locks himself up with Nikolai and a fight ensues. As the men struggle against each other and throw a few punches, Gordon loses the drill and is picked up by Nikolai, who turns it on as he impales Gordon. With the last of his strength, Gordon grabs a screwdriver from Nikolai's pocket and stabs him in the neck. By the time the others manage to open the door with a drill, it's too late, both men are dead and their bodies are floating in the room. While the world continues to burn, the remaining astronauts take a moment to grieve in private. Sometime later, Kira checks the computer and sees they are losing altitude. 
As she moves around the station, she finds a sign that says Node Zero, meaning the one who lied was Christian and not Veronica. She rushes to his room to demand an explanation and discovers all the samples ready to go with an escape suit. It seems Christian knew everything all along and has always planned to escape alone. At that moment the life support ventilation goes out as part of Christian's plan. Kira looks for Alexei to warn him, but he is in the same room as Christian, so she makes some gestures to ask him to turn off the music. Alexei does so and realizes the hum can't be heard. Then she uses a jar to knock on the table three times as a sign for Alexei to be ready. Christian is making himself a sandwich and Kira tries to borrow the knife to make one too, so Christian tries to get rid of Alexei saying they need privacy. When Alexei refuses to go, Christian grabs the knife and tries to attack Kira, but Alexei cuts in and his hand ends up stabbed instead. Being so close, Alexei manages to grab Christian tightly and holds him in place while Kira uses a necklace to choke him. After a few minutes Christian finally dies, and Kira has to deal with the fact she murdered someone. Afterward Kira bandages up Alexei's stab wound and he's able to turn on the life support again. Then Kira checks on her mice and discovers Alexei built them a net for them to hold onto. Suddenly the message request for a propulsion boost is finally acknowledged, getting them out of immediate danger. Soon communications return and both governments ask if they have taken control of the station. Angry and disillusioned by their leaders, the duo ignores the messages and uses the Soyuz rocket to leave the station with Alexei's research. As they plummet into free fall back to Earth, Alexei asks where they're going that could be safe, but Kira has no idea. 